What's up, Internet? My name's Nerdy. And I'm Claro. And this is The Boys. The Boys. Uh, this episode is season five. one. No, four. Episode five. It's called... We're going back. <laughs> Beware the Jabberwock, my son. Great poem. Is that the yeah. po- is that the name of a poem? Uh, the Jabberwocky is also by Lewis Carroll, my great, 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 great uncle. Um, there's a song oh. of it. Oh, I it's... thought the Jabberwocky was just in Alice in Wonderland. No, they took his, uh, his other stuff, like the poem specifically, and like added things into that movie for some reason. Mm-hmm. If you watch New Heights this week, you learned that uh, Travis Kelsey thought that her name was Alice in Wonderland and did not know that it was called Alice in Wonderland. He thought her first... He thought he her thought her whole, whole name was Alice in Wonderland. Great podcast. If and yet you, people made fun of me for not knowing where Boston was. I okay. mean people are making fun of him for it, so it's it's equal. Fair. You and you and Travis Kelsey are equal. If you want the flying reaction to this, go to patreon.com. You are an, a Hall of Fame tight end. Uh <laughs> Just a different kind of tight end. Different kind, yeah. <laughs> if you want the full length reaction, go to patreon.com slash nerdy nightly. But if you don't, stay here, because this video just got demonetized. Hell yeah. What the fuck? I forgot that Simon Pegg has superpowers. Yeah. What do you think his powers are? I would love if he could shoot ice cream cones out of his hands. Just little Cornettos. Yeah, I was like... It'd if, be an inside what joke. If, what if it's just something totally useless? Welcome to Godolkin University. The virus only affects soups. It attaches. So if you didn't watch Gen V, this might get confusing. Ah, oh, Newman. You're so hot. And so evil. <laughs> but evil is hot. Ooh. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. The sad thing is we got that so recently when, um, oh my god, Johnny Depp was in fucking Lone Ranger. E-52 Expo. Give a big round of applause for your hosts, Cameron Coleman and The Deep. Oh boy. We're going to con. We should go. This looks like fun. I'd rather not get lasered. G-Men World War III. This is one of the many new projects we've got coming to you on the VCU timeline. She's like, oh, fuck, I'm working with a psychopath. Mm -hmm. Hey! I really wish they'd gotten Kevin Feige to camera. Today, an exhaustive. The Seven Forever. It's so funny. I mean, if I was as bad as they say, then I I shouldn't be alive, right? I mean, it's a true blue miracle. Yup, it's a miracle. True blue miracle. I'm gonna go find you a diet Snapple. Okay. <laughs> oh, I wish I got that excited about anything. Grew up without one parent. I just couldn't bear the thought of you losing another one. That's pretty sweet. Do you know he's dating the actress playing Newman in real life? Yeah. Make a baby or kill it. <laughs> what a cut. <laughs> say she had an alibi we all know she had something to do with ezekiel's murder yeah the alibi is she was beating your ass mm-hmm. on ferrets proves unborn babies feel pain as early as conception as early as conception good lord fighting is not how you solve problems why not that's what you do It's your job. Fuck all this cloak and dagger shot. It's bloody freezing out here. Well, I mean, I was thinking we could meet in your mom's pussy, but, you know, I wanted someplace more private. <laughs> That's... What a line. It's a bit all of a sudden, isn't it? Really? Your team's a joke. Do you think he's real? He's never in a scene with anybody else this season. It's starting to get weird. True. I have a blind spot for him. All right. I'll give you starlight. <gasps> He's the worm. But I think his wife is also the worm. Right? No, his wife is his sanity. <laughs> Negan is the worm. Hmm, maybe. They are decent people. But you and me, we don't belong with decent. 
Now, there was a scene where they were in, like, an office building together. And I think that if other people were in the FBI seen, headquarters together. Yeah, so I think if people had seen Butcher talking to himself, that might have been, like, weird, but... I don't think anyone would think that's weird. <laughs> what? Because he completely ghosted me. Did you guys get into a fight or something? <laughs> Super. <laughs> What's with all the long faces? I don't know. Maybe because I'm getting blamed for the murder you did. I'll call you a cunt, but you ain't got the depth for the warmth. <laughs> it's a pretty good insult. Oh, it's mm -hmm. top tier. So you shoved this shit into me and Kamiko, and we just dropped dead? Yep. That's the idea. <laughs> hey, all right, all right. Time out. Look, if this virus is as dangerous as Butcher says it is, do you really want it in Newman's hands? Hmm. Depends on how contagious it is as well, because, like, yeah. if Newman puts it out, her and her daughter are now dead, so. Are you? Are you there? That clip's from our new studio division, Vought Faith. Hmm. Where the pedophiles are. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Spearheaded by Firecracker herself. <laughs> was Ezekiel in season one or two? I think that was one. That footage didn't just run itself out of crime analytics. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> she fucking knows. Yeah, yeah. Well, she is the smartest person in the world, so. Most of the time. Stay close, Dominic. Oh! Interesting. How about we get you out of here? Exonerated. Ain't throwing custody of Zoe. Ain't no better deal. And you know it. Damn. That was a strong play. Yep. Go in. God, he's so fucking cool. This is a bad idea. Yep. Charming. Do you have a towel I could place over the seat? This is gonna go well. Come on, be serious. Acapulco wasn't that bad. Uh, I'm just like worried that his power is just gonna fucking kill someone. Like. His son got s teleportation that left him naked. Did you buy a timeshare? Because that bought guy, a timeshare. that guy put the hard sell on me. <laughs> he would fall for a timeshare. Never knew that. Yeah, they have this walking tour that goes to all the spots in the Da Vinci Code. Uh, <laughs> Imagine yeah. that. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, God. I would do that. It's the most dad shit ever. This Huey, which is mine. Engagement ring for when you propose to Annie. Oh, sweet, but I, I don't, I don't know if um, I don't know if we're ready like right now. Are you I... crazy? Lock that shit down, you moron. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my mom said to me. And look, I, I, I know you tried to reach out to Huey, and I, I should never have kept you away. <sighs> The more emotional he gets, the more nervous I get that he's gonna like blow up or. Hey, where's your mom gone? Uh, she went to the bathroom, remember? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Oh, fucking no. Oh, God. Okay. Sam Pegg is so talented. I know. But if Victoria wanted to keep her proclivities quiet, it'd be here. Uh-oh. Maybe it's a sex thing. They're superheroes. They heal really fast. Um. It's like Herogasm 2. Yeah. Or not. Nope. Oh. Oh, it's a lab. They're testing the fucking virus. 
Oh, Starlight, be careful. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay. It's all gone. What? Holy shit. Oh, fuck. You brought these assholes here? They want to kill me. I'm sorry. Are you upset that I betrayed you? <laughs> you might as well use their expertise. At the very least, their effective cannon fodder. Thanks. It's really nice of you. A story I can't wait. Outrun this life, you can run yourself into an early grave. It's so fucking cheesy. Oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. I'm just as excited as you are for this film that is so close to my heart. <laughs> Oh, Bombag pulled me from his latest slice of life drama. I'm sorry, man. I don't know what to say. Poor Deep. I'm so sad for you. Yeah, it must be hard. The most expensive TV show ever. So, you know, it's got to be good. Am I right? Yeah. Vought's history. We have two black heroes in the seven and one unspecified. <laughs> so we'll lead Vought's newest diversity initiative, Black Addict. Say black fans stream it, they'll see a delicious Vought Imperial Peach Cognac. <laughs> it's pretty cool. That's what AI is gonna do. You know that, right? Like, that is the future AI people think is gonna happen. When a black person watches our TV show, I'll be holding Hennessy, and that makes me not racist somehow. <laughs> and we do like a little two hour QA. Bonnie, you look gorgeous today, by the way. Gotta love a two-hour Q&A. We are a month away from shooting. Built all the sets. I think we bought up half the sound stages in Toronto. Who cares? And the keys to your Jaguar. I would love to do that. <laughs> There's no way he's old enough to drive, right? Oh, no. I've been uh, manipulated by people my whole life. Character growth. From now on, no more rules. For either of us, we are both emancipated from slavery. Happy for you. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, this whole planet is empty. Except for you and me. That sounds miserable. Yeah. I love you, but if we were the only people? Yeah. Sag. Stick to the shadows, never reach too high. That was to protect you. No, that was because you were ashamed of me. My daughter will never have to live like that. I don't know, the tentacles are still a lot. Like, yeah. It is interesting that this is the first time where the soups shouldn't go first. Yeah. I wonder what would happen to Butcher. Oh, because the Tempe. That's a good question. Like, I wonder if I it don't would know. save... Well, I don't know. Oh. What the hell is... <laughs> okay. Yep, that's a nope. Yep. I could have warned us your pal Samir was veeing up a Kentucky Fried fucking massacre, couldn't ya? I didn't know, okay? Something obviously went wrong. <laughs> That's amazing. What does that mean? Said he'd steal all the files you had on me if I gave him Ryan. Are you fucking kidding Did me? They change her makeup into this scene? Might have just been a different day. It just is, um... So let's just go. It's an absolute wonder to different. me that you've all managed to live this long. That's honestly fair. Yeah. Like, I swear she was just wearing red lipstick. Uh, maybe. And now she's not. You are 
dumping me. I need a dom who's dominating. <sighs> oh my god. Okay. Ashley might commit murder by the end of the season. <laughs> You will just think I'm stupid, poor white trash. I don't think you're poor. Underestimate me all you want. Makes that much easier to stick a fucking shiv in your back. Hmm. I don't know, man. If they were like, yeah, this woman's a super genius, I would be a little bit more careful. <laughs> yeah. And shit, you've been starlight for so long. Do you even know who Annie is anymore? <laughs> <laughs> You really got your shit locked down. <laughs> <laughs> Is that rabbit gonna fucking murder him? Nope, it's not. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's what's inside of him. Maybe something similar, yeah. Yeah, because that rabbit was on the tent. Oh, right. No, good call. Well, that's horrifying. Oh my god, is Carl Urban going to become Venom? Eddie, I'm hungry. Tech Knight! Ah, oh, this fucker. Literally. We made a deal. So you either help me get Sage off my jock, or you go down with me. Wow, well, she's having a really bad day. Yeah. And she deserves it. Yeah. With its soundtrack of Nirvana hits and a 12 minute sequence that's entirely pitch black. Well done. Well done. Dad. You? Wait, 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 wait. Let's wait here for a second. Hey, Dad. <gasps> Who are you? Dad, it's. Dad, it's me, it's Huey. Excuse me. Oh, ma'am! Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no! What's, what's happening? Oh my god. Oh no! Oh wow. He became Kitty Pride. But, like, the worst version. You're not Huey. He's 11. Oh, no. You shouldn't be here. You left. But I came back. Oh, this is horrifying. Yeah. And you looked through me like I wasn't even there! Oh, no. Stop. Get down on the ground now! Oh! Sir? Ooh. Wait, wait, no! no. <laughs> oh god, oh no! Oh wow, it's bad. My god, it's good. Yeah, there, they, there are. they are. Yeah. Hey Adam, you send that lovely young lady over here, please. And you come too. Oh god. Is he making you uncomfortable? You can tell me you won't get in trouble. Kinda. Yeah. Adam, I think you should get on your knees and do it again. <sighs> the brainwashing of Ryan begins in like the worst way. I know, because he's like, I just wanna help people. Because it's the right thing, but. Yeah. I want you to slap him. <laughs> Does she want that? <laughs> Sorry, stop, please. <laughs> Oh. Oh. oh, I'm so physically uncomfortable right now. Ryan, please, yeah. please. Oh my oh, God. She's really going at it. What yeah. did he do to her? Yeah, she's she's just. By the six or seven slap, I'm like, oh, he really did something wrong. <laughs> Can we take a break? Right? Yes. I'm all right. I'm really worried about what they breathed in in that lab. I know, because it. They, it, it, it just kind of, they just kind of, I don't know. 
Oh. Off we fuck. Nice and slow. Boom! <laughs> I love oh that they just like, brought extra people just to die. Well, they're the Secret Service, you know. Newman's got to be protected at all times as a vice presidential nominee. Uh, oh, more with you. I can't believe this is fucking happening to me again. <laughs> hey! Huh. What's up? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, but uh. Poor Galit. Before he went behind my back and deflowered my daughter. Okay, I was 20 thoroughly deflowered, and this isn't the time or the place. <laughs> and then we put him outside to infect the crazy fucking flying sheep. This man is in no condition to fuck a sheep. They would eat him. But. <laughs> Frenchie! Frenchie! Okay, oh, that God. was a terrible joke, but it got me. It worked. Y'all see this? Hives. And I got them because y'all motherfuckers are driving me to fuck crazy. <laughs> sure. You're not a monster, Butcher. You are a motherfucker, but you a motherfucker with a heart. Would the virus kill the thing in Butcher and not him? Could That's it be what his I'm way curious about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if the temp V has somehow separated yeah. from him, like is a different... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this would work if his blood isn't pumping, right? Like, I don't know how the... It de I guess it depends on circulation, but wouldn't, the, wouldn't shooting up a body with no heart, beating heart not really move it around enough to get into the Maybe it would get into some of the sheep, but... I actually don't know. I, I don't know either. I'm not a fucking... You know, I'm not claiming to be a genius here. Just a thought. Brain dead. How are you so calm? This sort of isn't the first time I've been through something like this. <laughs> You're my hero, Dad. You weak. Oh, fuck. Oh, this sucks. Oh no, if one of them gets bit, the it worked. Uh. All right, go team. Oh. The deal was a pardon for the virus. No virus, no deal. I'm amazed they got him to play Samira for that. <laughs> Butcher, what did you do? Oh, their nosebleeds were her arriving. Mm, okay. I forgot that their nose is blood before. Me too. Hmm. Jesus fucking Christ, are you serious? Is that Queen Maeve's journal? Hmm. We'll have to do some terrible things. Some violent, merciless, maybe even cruel things for the greater good. What have you been doing thus far? Mm -hmm. You've just been doing it for fun. The proof is on his phone. Calls to Marvin Milk. <laughs> So. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. It's a shame. I liked him a lot. I think he's a great actor. Oh, yeah. Am I playing Cameron? But Gracie. 
Uh, just a moment, sir. Madam, excuse me. Sir, we'll get to you when we I can. I committed murders. Plural. There's a 1013 at the front desk. Sir, please put your hands where I can see them. I, I get it, though, right? Yeah. If we don't do this, then he spends the rest of his life scared and confused and in prison or, or an asylum. Or he kills more innocent people. Oh, God! <laughs> and I, I love you so much. I love you too, son. My wee Huey. Visit all those, those spots where Tom, Tom hangs. <sighs> oh, fuck me. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh. Am I a terrible per person for being glad it worked? <laughs> no. Because <laughs> it hadn't. <laughs> oh, oh. You chopped off my fucking leg! Yes, I did. And I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. Your football days are old. <laughs> You're gonna make us some more of that virus. <laughs> What a look. Yeah, I'm starting to think that he's not real. But the funny, okay, if he's not real, if he isn't, and sorry to spoil what? Grey's Anatomy, oh. but if he isn't real and Butcher is seeing him, it is so funny to me and very few other people who are, people who have watched multiple seasons of Grey's Anatomy and also watch The Boys. I feel like that Venn diagram is not that large. And... The, the, the amount of time that he spends as effing that Catherine Heigl sees in the hospital. Oh, I <laughs> And now he is a, a figment of Butcher's imagination. Is just so, like, as Denny Duquette being a, right, like, right, ghost. Right. Forgot about that. That she sees around for, like, a while. Like, that's, yeah. like, a big plot. <laughs> it's just so funny to me that Denny Duquette is now haunting a new person. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I love that for Carl O'Brien, honestly. Wow. Um, yeah, I love that for Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Get that work, boy. Get yeah. paid. Um, be on everything. It's great. Wow. That sucked. Yeah. That was hard to watch. Yeah. 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 This season is so depressing. <laughs> the worst part is that, like, Huey didn't do it. You know what I mean? Like, he, he made the choice to not. Yeah. And, and the reasons still, why his mom did make the most sense, right? Yeah. Like, I deprived you of a parent. I didn't want you to lose another one. Is so... That that made it all make sense to me. Yeah, I was like, I get it. Yeah. Because she has no idea the consequences of this stuff, right? Like, she... Yeah. She, as far as we know, does not understand. Um, and no. so... Oh, man. It was just the most fucking, like, heartbreaking thing. Yeah. <sighs> But the whole episode is about family, right? Like, you know, Mother's Milk making it about getting home to his daughter. Yeah. Um, obviously, Newman's dad and daughter being kind of the center of that. Yeah, Her definitely. dad's assistant, who she dated. Yeah. Um, He's definitely a little bit older than her. Even Homelander um, and Ryan. Homelander and Ryan. Like, there's so much, like, family drama. Uh, fucking Ashley and Cole, uh, Coleman? Uh, Cameron? Uh, breaking up. You know, there, it's a, there was a lot of relationship stuff in, stuff in this. And now Frenchie yeah, has yeah. turned himself into the police. Yeah. For crimes that, like, he did fully commit. So it's one of those things where I'm like, ah, fuck Frenchie. The, the boys need you. But also, like... It's tough because, like, I like it, how, you know, how much of it was the manipulation and blackmail and, like... Um, oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah. Right? Like, it's... Yeah. But if you can't find absolution anywhere else and you don't believe in the absolution of God, perhaps the only absolution you can find is in... A jury of your peers, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Especially, you know, now that he's told Colin, which seems to have really broken him open. Yeah. Um, in a way that, you know, maybe if Kimiko already knew or, or any of them already knew and, and could have stepped in and, you know, been honest with him. And, and maybe he deserves for You know what I mean? Like, it, it's so tough to, like... It, it, it's it's one of the, it, this show like no one is really defendable i yeah. love butcher he's a terrible he cut off that dude's leg yeah so that he could torture him into making more v yes killer yes um you know it's it's no one's good except kind of like huey starlight a little bit yeah. but starlight has now started to beat the shit out of every woman she sees so well, yeah, Starlight has been violent, like, twice. And, like, I don't think that that is... Ah, she's been violent more than that. But, well, yeah, twice like, this season. unprovoked, I guess. She's never yeah, just, Stormfront like, was randomly. definitely provoked, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There, you know, like, she's... She's... Yeah, I think... S- it's even tough, because I think that, in a way... Like, Kimiko has done so much violence. Yeah. <laughs> but, like... Well, I I don't know. I don't know. How do you how do you like quantify that? You can't. Yeah. Yeah. It's a much more violent world than ours, right? Like. Yeah. In comparison to what Homelander's done, it's like wow. Well, yeah. That it it is the tough part about uprooting systems is that systems become more violent the harder you work to uproot them and so in order to uproot them you over time have to do more violence yeah and that becomes like the moral quandary of revolution is how how much much equivalent violence are you willing to perpetuate in order to to change to change things right you know looking at um the night Gaddafi was killed right and it's like well that's murder in a way right but also the system of government that he perpetuated on his people was horrible. And so they rose up and they killed him. Yeah. Right? And the the people that did that are probably feeling very righteous in their decisions. They probably feel very safe in the decision to do their actions that day mm-hmm. and in the days leading up to it because of the evil that was being perpetuated. But does that make their violence morally righteous? I, I don't know. Yeah. Or is it just okay? Do we all have to live with a certain amount of moral disrighteousness unrighteousness in order to survive and, and like, i think that who, that might be the more more honest case right and who is like who is qualified to judge no one that's why it sh- it's why it should always be a group but a group of people who like are emotionally attached to the situation because they were like abused and oppressed or does it have to be a group of people that have no connection and have not suffered. I mean, we do our best to make sure that it's a group. In, in Western, you know, law, we do our best to find a group of people who do not have a connection to the situation. Mm-hmm. It's hard, right? But it's that... hard to find a jury of your peers who doesn't care. But but is that fair? I think it's more fair than asking people who are very hurt to try and make a legal decision based on an assumption, especially if they don't know for sure, right? Like, I think that asking, if, if a prosecutor were to take someone and put them before a, the family of a deceased person and say, this person murdered your mom, I think that in their grief, they're more likely to say, okay, fucking let's throw them to the wolves. And I think that you're less likely to look at the evidence. Because if you, because I think that if we were to do it, if that was our system, right? If we were to pull a jury of the people who were most harmed mm. by a murder. Mm-hmm. And that jury involved three 18-year-olds because their mom was murdered, right? And the defendant is their dad. And the prosecution feels like it has a pretty strong case that the dad did it. Mm-hmm. So they kill the dad. The kids, months after their mom's dead, filled with grief, all raise their hand and say, yeah, you know what? The prosecutor's probably right. This guy killed our mom. Mm-hmm. It's our dad, but, like, what a monster. And then a month later, it's like, well, actually, it wasn't him. It was somebody else. And then you just killed your innocent dad. Like, that's b- part of the reason why I think that we don't put the people most harmed on the stand is because if you get it wrong out of grief or out of a need for closure, you know, you want it to move a little bit faster because you need it to be done. Mm. You need to be past this. You need to close that chapter of your life. And so you vote to end it, not because it is the most accurate path, mm. and then you find out that you were wrong, mm-hmm. I think that m- would probably be worse, right? Yeah. 
and then it never ends because then your actions are also tainted and you you have also committed you know a, a sin that you can never come back from which is what Frenchie's feeling in this right yeah. like regardless of whether or not he's at fault for the murders which he is to some degree because he did perpetuate them he doesn't he will never feel okay about them mm-hmm. and you know probably shouldn't i think that if at any point he were to feel okay with what he's done then you have to question like are well then you're sociopathic like why do you not have an emotional feeling to the fact that you killed colin's family yeah and like not just the judge but like the judge the wife and the daughter yeah and you would have killed colin if you had found him yeah like i don't know how you even no matter who told you to do it i don't know how you live with that yeah for sure. i don't know how any assassin lives with themselves you know yeah. I think there's a level of sociopathy. So, not like full on sociopathy. Sociopathy. God, fucking words as a dyslexic man. Um, I think there's a level of it that you need to have that kind of a job. Like, I couldn't do it. My guilty ass conscience would be weeping. Yeah. No, I, 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 yeah. I could not. <sighs> yeah. I think, yeah, it's, you know, I find like Butcher so fascinating. Because I'm like, ah, oh, mm-hmm. fucking could never. <laughs> no. You know what I mean? Um, it's the kind of like. What kind of people do you have to work with or become to, like, get the job done? Mm -hmm. And maybe I could get there over time. But I'm definitely... Huey is the person in the boys I am most like. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that that's... Honestly, like... I feel like Butcher is the main character. But I feel like Huey is the one that we follow. You know, like, like... Interesting that you think Butcher's the main character. I don't really... I, I, I definitely get that vibe in season one. I don't feel that way anymore. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like the show has a, like... I think Homelander is, in many ways, the main character of the show now. Oh, interesting. I think... Yeah, I think that that's fair. I think that, like, the his actions... The entire show moves on his actions. And everything is about him. And because the show is such an ensemble, it's not really about any of the heroes individually because they all have... There's so many Mm storylines, but the only story that seems to affect everything else is Homelander's decisions. Yeah. Right? And so he is the antagonist to the good guys of the story, but he's the antagonist to all of the good guys of the story. And so the show kind of funnels through him in a way. Yeah. Even when he's not on screen, everyone has to be acting about him in a way, Mm -hmm. right? The V is about him. Newman trying to come up with a way to, like, slow him down or beat him is about... About Homelander. Mm-hmm. Starlight, a little bit less this season. She's kind of doing her own thing with Firecracker, but that's, you know, off to the side. Everything else is just sort of built around Homelander. And because of Ryan, and because, you know, we're getting this sort of like, is Homelander has the biggest arc so far this season, right? Homelander realizing that he is doing to Ryan what made him him mm-hmm. is such a fa- and but then still doing it, right? But yeah. being more subtle about it. He's literally like, there's no rules, but if you don't do it the way I want you to, I'm going to subtly get you there. Yeah. Right? Yep. And that's fascinating. And he's perpetuating the harm that he faced. And, you know, he's just going about it a little bit better today than he was yesterday. Yep. Poor I'm Ryan. so curious where this season is going. Because there's three episodes left. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming it has to do something with the virus. Yeah. But I'm assuming Homelander won't die. I think somebody will, though. I just don't know who it's going to be. Well, I have a bad feeling that because there's going to be one more season one final season right maybe it's up in the air okay i thought that was confirmed but maybe they have said that it might not be the final i they like making the show so much they might continue i would imagine that at the end of this season um the virus kills a lot of people that we know good and bad hmm like there's going yeah, but like to like who you know what I mean? Because I, I I feel like Kimiko is so far away from her arc being completed, and so I feel like it'd be really not satisfying if Kimiko died. Yeah. And if Starlight died, that's I mean I could maybe it might be Starlight. It still feels tough for me. And they're the only two soups on the good side, right? Well, yeah, or maybe it's just a bunch of like innocent people. Like there's like a maybe there's like a problem, and it like, um just kills a bunch of like civilians like people Mm, who people who like their power is like no my hair grows or something you know like 
I just think if the finale of this season is we do a raid on Vought Tower to try and kill Homelander and it doesn't work again, it's just the same as last season. I don't, and that, so I don't right. think they would do that. No, that's why I think that it is going to be about more, more like the people like America, like Homelander says, like, you know, we need yeah. to save America or whatever it is. And I feel like, I, I don't know, but I feel like it's going to be really bad. Yeah, I'm getting, this is definitely the darkest season so far, and I think that it is going to get a little bit darker in the last episode so that season five can kind of swing towards the light. Mm -hmm. You know, we're kind of in that, like, late Empire Strikes Back darkness. Yeah. I do, I do like that they, their dog is named Jar Jar because I know how much Simon Pegg does not like Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, and so Jar Jar dying violently in this show. Yeah, he, like, is, like, famously on record as saying, like, the Phantom Menace sucks because of Jar Jar. Um, and so I think it's very funny that he was like, wow. Jar Jar died violently of like shitting yeah, his yeah, brains yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would almost hazard a bet that that was a Simon Pegg addition to the script. I love that. Given that he's a very talented writer and I think Star Trek Beyond is great. Yeah. Um, I like what he did with that movie a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would, I wouldn't be surprised. I love that. Um, but, um, yeah. <sighs> yeah, things are bad and it's just going to get worse. Yeah. And you know what? We're probably going to love it because it shows... This season's great. Yeah. You know, I, unless, you know, it's making fun of you. Uh, if you like the video, like and subscribe to the channel. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Leave me in comments down below because that algorithm goddess is hungry and we must feed her. This episode, that algorithm goddess is... Uh, I kind of want to give it to Ashley. Yeah, okay. She got dumped Fucking ruthless at work. killer. Yeah. Like, Wow. Turned it around on camera. That was something. I'm that sad. Something. I really like him. I think he is... Because they started putting out the, like, midsummer like, yeah. shorts of him doing the news. Yeah. And I was like, this dude is crushing it. He's and when hilarious. I brought him into the full show, I was like, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to miss him on the show, but it was a great death. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Ashley getting a little bit of revenge for... Him not wearing um, the vibrating anal beads that let that guy win the chess tournament. If you want to follow us around the internet, you can. I'm at Nerdy Night. I'm at Clarice Polaris. Do something nerdy tonight. Bye. Bye.